Well, this could possibly be the most sexiest perfume in my collection. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another video. My name is Scott. Today I'm talking about a release that came out last year in 2022, and I am so excited about this fragrance release. As I said in the opening, this could possibly be the most sexiest fragrance in my collection. Does it live up to the hype? Well, let's go ahead and talk about I'm it. I'm talking about none other than Suspero Perfumes. Suspero Perfumes is the epitome of opulence and grace, and in particular, I am talking about vibrato. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is the presentation. Got that royal blue box. And if you can't tell on the side, those are butterflies, if you can make that out. And then just to show you, there's a gold one right here. And like I said, Suspiro is the epitome of opulence and grace. Olfactory seductions that take your breath away is a note from the Stickers company. Stickers right here on the side were used to hold this box together. For those of you who care about such things. You've got your pertinent batch information on the bottom, and then you've got a butterfly on the top, and then nestled inside and protected very well is the fragrance itself. Vibrato. Let's take it out of there. It's nestled in there really nice. Vibrato. Cool cap. It says Suspiro right there on the cap. And again, you've got some more batch code information and whatnot. This material here is like a velvety material, really soft to the touch. Not a huge fan of that. But nonetheless, this fragrance is absolutely amazing. Just spoiler alert. Right here, this says Suspiro Collection, Eau de Parfum. We'll take the cap off. Again, it says Suspiro all around the cap. And that is your fragrance. All right, let's go ahead and spray it on the skin. I'll give you my first impressions and then we'll give you the note breakdown. <sighs> wow. I cannot wait to wear this a whole bunch this spring and summer. This fragrance is the epitome of opulence as I already teased at the beginning. It's so addictive and I gotta say the hype is for real get on the hype train now this fragrance is really expensive it is opulent it is a luxury fragrance i think this fragrance was born in italy but it is absolutely worth the hype i think it got a little bit of hype from a fragrance reviewer known as demi rawling this has gotten a lot of hype but this fragrance right here is absolutely amazing it is addicting it is fresh it is warm it is clean right out of the gate and what i was telling my wife when i was trying to figure out what this reminded me of there's just something so bright and so fizzy and so effervescent off the top. It kind of reminded me of a citrus cola. I know that sounds weird. It has all the sweetness, it has all the fizziness, all the brightness, it is so fresh. And the opening is absolutely amazing. But this fragrance is, you know, you can't really pin it down. It's kind of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It, it comes out fizzy and effervescent and bright and airy and just absolutely gorgeous. What everything you want a fresh, clean summer fragrance to be. But then as it starts to develop, it really changes on you. And then you get these white florals like, like magnolia and some of the other ingredients that are in this fragrance. And it really starts to change the fragrance and it becomes very, very powdery and almost go, goes from just bright and citrusy and sweet to almost very feminine, but you know, not too feminine leaning. And you know, I'm, I don't mind some feminine fragrances and guys, you shouldn't either, but it, it goes kind of feminine in the middle with that powderiness and that white floral. But then, <laughs> then it changes again on my skin. It does this dance. It, and I understand why Suspero uses so many names that have to do with music. Because the ingredients in this fragrance all work together in harmony, much like a symphony, much like an orchestra. And these fragrance notes really work in harmony. It is so nice because as this fragrance starts to dry down, that little bit of sweetness in the beginning and then that powderiness and the white florals start to dissipate and then you get this very gorgeous dry woody cedar really starts to warm up on your skin all while maintaining that fresh cleanness that you like in a summer fragrance man this is so so good and i just really really love it 
It's musky also as well as it starts to develop amazing performance, okay? I tested this out at work. Everywhere I was going, people were asking me what I was wearing. Um, every time I said the name, as you know, a lot of people who, you know, just kind of casual fragrance observers don't really know, well, what, what's that? Where can I get that? So I had to explain it a lot of times, but this is definitely a beast mode performing summer fragrance. And usually those things do not go together, okay? Beast Mode and Summer Freshies usually do not go together because we all know that Summer Fresh fragrances, you know, do not have staying power, but this fragrance seems to just project and perform off my skin. Now, when I first sprayed it, the first time I tested it, I was telling somebody online that I really didn't detect it. And it just seemed like the more I wore it, the more it reacted with my skin. And I live here in the Carolinas and it can get quite hot sometimes. It's a little bit of a tropical climate as compared to most this thing started projecting and started warming up on my skin and you know just with the with the amber and the musk and and the woods and the dry down man it was just really pumping and then you had that beautiful fresh citrus citrus just all blending together in perfect harmony man i'm telling you this is an amazing fragrance like i said in the beginning the hype is real i absolutely love this fragrance there's so much to love about it you know if you want a comparison a lot of people are saying this is bulgari tiger meets Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. I'm not sure about that. I don't have Tigar, I have Afternoon Swim, but to me, this fragrance stands by itself. This is an absolute masterpiece from master perfumer, Christian Provenzano. Well done, you knocked it out of the park because you managed to make this absolutely amazing, beautiful, harmonistic fragrance that is just, it's, I don't even know if harmonistic is a word, but it is now. These ingredients all work in harmony, and let's just go ahead and talk about what those ingredients are. I'll put them on the screen. So in the top, we've got bergamot, grapefruit, jasmine, and magnolia. In the mid, we have ginger, powdery notes, and herbal notes. In the base, we have cedar, patchouli, orris root, musk, and amber. Wow, this fragrance is so amazing. You can see where the freshness and the sweetness comes from on the top. You've got that bergamot and the grapefruit. Then in the mid, you get that ginger kick and you got those powdery notes, a little bit of herbalness. And then you've got that jasmine and magnolia just all working in beautiful harmony. And then when you get to the base, you have that dry cedar, this beautiful patchouli, orris root help giving it a powderiness as well. And the musk and amber, just absolutely amazing. Well done, Christian. This is an amazing fragrance, guys. You definitely need to get a sample of this from Suspero Perfumes. It is absolutely amazing and well worth a look. If you were wondering, this fragrance is one of my favorites in my collection, if you haven't been able to tell by now. So again, beautiful freshness, bright, airy, fizziness, effervescent on the top. Then you get this powdery white florals in the mid, and then you get the beautiful woody cedar dry down, you know, with the amber that's absolutely gorgeous, guys. And this fragrance goes all day on my skin, eight plus hours, well into the next day. You'll still be smelling this on your clothes and on your skin if you don't take a shower. Absolutely amazing. This is going to get the job done for you if you're looking for compliments. If you want to turn heads, I would highly suggest looking into Suspero perfumes because this is absolutely amazing. Well, there you have it. That's my take, guys. Suspero perfumes, vibrato, bravo, masterpiece, Christian Provenzano. You've done it again. This is an amazing fragrance, guys. Check it out. If, have you guys ever tried anything from, from Suspero Perfumes? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. If you'd love to try this fragrance, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Or if you haven't tried it, let me know. What is one of the sexiest fragrances in your collection? I love hearing from you guys, so let me know down below. If you got any value from this video today, which I know you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd love to be a part of my fragrance family, I'd love to have you. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit those bell notifications off to the side so that you know whenever my next videos come out. You know, I'm always doing some cool things, some giveaways, some interviews, special guests. Who knows? You know, sky's the limit on this channel. And just turn those bell notifications on so you're ready for the next video. And it'll help me out too, because it does help the algorithm. So you'd be doing me a favor as well. Thank you guys so much. I cannot wait till I see you in the next video. I know there's a little time in between from the last time I released a video, but thank you so much for being here for each and every one. I appreciate all your support. I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. Until next time, this is Scott Aromatico, out.